How you feeling? I'm good, bro. Chilling. Sure? Chilling. Sure, you sure you chilling, always, chilling? I'm always chilling. Okay, man. You know, last time I had Jay tell me mm-hmm. that there's probably two two in my face. So yeah, that's exactly what somebody else told me. Yeah? They're like, yo, you guys gotta adjust the mics a little bit in your face. It's like, all right, cool. Sorry, man. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks so for right watching. About, well, I think right about there, right? Yeah, shooting effect, right? I hope so. I mean, getting, I mean, this is the money maker. So. Look, as long as somebody can hear me clearly, what? clearly, it should be fine. Should it should be good. Be good. Yeah. You don't need it to be like super right there either, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So let this thing go. Too loosey goosey. All right, man. So, what's up, man? How you feeling? I'm good, bro. How's life? How's life treating you? How's Tinder going? Pretty good. You know, um, I feel like sometimes when we do these like little introductions, uh-huh. it's almost like I got a fake like that. I just didn't like I wasn't just chilling like, with you, you for like, day long, right? Like, like I wasn't just chilling yeah. with you for a minute. It's like I haven't seen you, so tell me, man, what have I missed in the last two twenty minutes? <laughs> Shit, nothing. Apparently, my mom just showed me some super millionaire YouTuber, and I kind of started thinking how I think that's like you know probably back in the day, everybody's thing was they wanted to uh, maybe be like a rock star, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like now everybody just wants to be a YouTuber. Yeah, before oh, before right? you, ooh, you get that? Don't worry about it. I don't care. Before yeah, before you had to um, you had to be thrown in. Yeah, you had to be like a, you wanted to be an athlete, you wanted to be a rock star. Yeah. Now everybody just wants to be social media famous. Yeah, P- pretty much like uh, I guess like the word is influencer. Yeah. Right? Man, okay, man. It's nothing better than you know being seen and wanted by everybody. Yeah. I'm gonna tell me what happened this week before we get to the get to the shits today. I, I to the shits. Week. I don't know, bro. This week, I I think I um my body was like I'm tired of life, so I didn't go to the gym one time this week. And I noticed that. Did you hit me up at all this week or no? I don't remember. I don't think so. You know, I don't think so. It's weird. Wednesday, I was like, I was like, yo, I at least have to hit the gym Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, I'm like, I have to, I have to. And I think subconsciously, my body was like, no, you don't. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, I gotta put my my shoes back in the car. Cause I always keep gym clothes just in case. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I gotta put my shoes in the car. And so, literally, I, I'm, I get out of work, and I'm headed towards you, towards the gym. Mm-hmm. I hadn't even texted her. I'm just headed that way. And I'm like, yo, where are my shoes? And as I'm headed that way, I realized I didn't bring shoes, and I was wearing boots. I wasn't uh, going to be in the boots. Damn. I was going to be in the boots at the gym, so I ended up just curving out and going home. You just ended up that, that's why I didn't even hit you up. I'm like, yo, oh, okay. me out and gave some shoes. Yeah, but I was like, eh, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Damn. I'm taking so hours, been, bro. You've been slumming it this week? I've been this week? slumming this whole weekend, and I hate it because... I be on the tip like you know what I, I deserve this, but then I get home and I feel like I wasted the day anyways. Right, right, right. Like I should have just gone. Yeah, to yeah. The gym. I mean, you know, when I miss a gym, either way, I start feeling like, especially when I miss it like two consecutively, mm-hmm. I feel like my body starting to become like sluggish. Like, yeah, that's, that's me. Like, the last like week and a half that I've been like you know one day out of two weeks. Yeah, I've been feeling like nah, man. It ain't not it. It's it not it. I gotta yeah. fix it. You know, you know what it is when you go to the gym every day. Like if you were to go to the gym every day. You realize how good you feel when you go to the gym every day. Yeah, I mean, like literally, like like the rhythm. Your, yeah. yeah, like you put your body through that strain, through those contractions. You feel like shit. Like I actually feel better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it, that shit happens so much. So it's 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 literally crazy how like you get accustomed. Like your body actually gets accustomed to it. Like, it's like you you need that mm-hmm. shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Crazy man. You know, for me. Nothing happened this week that I, I could even talk about to be honest with you. Yeah, I didn't have anything exciting to be honest. Yeah, it's it's just um. Well, I did I did ask her. Hold on, let me go on IG. I'm on my phone because let me see. I know somebody asked a question, bro. Actually, yeah, Lucho did ask a question. Actually, I don't know if you saw it though. The spirit, mind, and soul one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah, yeah. something about like uh, he, he DM'd us too. We so. never talk about heart. Is that right? What's that about? What's it, so basically, this this is it. So his whole thing was soul, hearts, minds. Right? He said. What is a good soul? How can you spot a good soul? Why psychology? They speak about souls and mind, but not hearts. We tend to think with our mind and not with the heart when the heart gives the power to the mind to think. That was the question. Like the heart as in the physical organ, the heart as the emotion. I think it's the emotion. I'm sure he meant Because emotion. the heart technically does give the power to think because yeah, the course. physical organ. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he meant it like in, in a more emotional aspect. Um, I don't know. Do you want to read it? So you probably get a better understanding of it. I mean, what, what? That is a good song. Mm-hmm. Um, I think when people talk about soul, most of the time they're referring to soul as your heart, because mm-hmm. soul, you know, even in the in the Christian idea, is that soul is the real you, right? Like that's the real, like who you really are, right, right, right. Like the soul like stone the inner, in, uh, yeah, the, yeah. in Avengers Endgame. So, yeah, so that inner Got you, you, right? That inner you, yeah. The, the one that that it's like the real you, the one that you don't have to fake for anybody. The one right, that's just right, who right. you are. Um, and I think that, that encompasses in a lot of aspects of your heart. 
Yeah. No, it's your real emotions, how you really feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. how you really think, how you really process, you know, how, how healthy you really are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think that that's your soul. So if you want to separate it, I guess your, your, your heart is your emotions. Mm -hmm. But for many people, your soul is the whole of the, the parts, you know? I mean, yeah. And, and, and to kind of add on to your thing, I think the same is, is like uh, the same thing. Like uh, when he asked me that, I literally thought about Avengers. You now you have <laughs> the mind soul, you have the soul stone, but you don't have some shit called the heart stone. But regardless of it, those are the thing. Those are the things that really make up who you are anyways. Right. Like, you know, I guess like when it comes to things of the heart, you kind of, I don't know, when I think of things of the heart, I think about like, I guess any kind of love, right. Any kind of thing like that. Right. When it comes to think of the mind is more of a rational, like, you know, thing, right. For, for most people. So I think that it, it depends on where your heart is, meaning that depending on where you hold your values, where those things are, at, that's how you're going to think. That's, that's what's going to be coming yeah. out. You get what I'm saying? So for example, like if, if your heart is what, the, well, they'll say that, oh, if your heart's in the wrong place, then you're not necessarily going to be in a good headspace yeah. to be doing, mm -hmm. you know, X, Y, and Z or whatever. Well, it, it kind of relates down the line to the same thing, right? Like, you know, you, if your heart, I, you know, for say, you don't really ever really make decisions from your heart, if you really think about it. And the person who does is an idiot. <laughs> right, I mean, because when you, we think about making decisions from the heart, like, oh, you're being emotional. Yeah. You know, like, you're being too emotional yeah. right now, whatever. It... The that, heart wants what the heart wants. Right. Like when you say those shits, that's not necessarily like you making a choice from your heart. That's 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 where your mind is at. Yeah, you're you're rationalizing it right. anyways. Right. That, 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 that's just where you're at. You get me? Like yeah. whatever those decisions that you make, that's just where you're I feel like that's just where you're at. You yeah. know I mean? That's how you develop. That's how you think. Yeah. That's how you are. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the heart, like the heart gives the idea to the mind and the mind then powers the body, right? Accordingly. Essentially. So, you know, yeah, but I, I think heart and soul are the same thing to me, to me. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I agree with you, too. Yeah. Like, it, it would be... In the aspect of, you know, if you believe you have a soul, right? Like, I know there's people that, like, uh, for now, there's people that don't believe in heaven or hell, mm -hmm. right? Um, So I'm guessing that when they... They feel like when they die, then it's like... you That's, just it's nothingness. Done, right, it's nothingness. But it's because, you know, whether because you don't believe nothing or because you don't think anything could be proven, that's that's basically up to you. But it, it's, it still stays the same. Like, yeah, your soul and your heart will technically be the same thing, right? It's like yeah. having a... Unpure soul. When I talk about having yeah. an unpure soul, I think your heart is fucked yeah. up too. You know what I mean? That's yeah, it. So, it's the same, same kind. Yeah, it kind of goes on. That. And that's the only question we got, man. You know, we don't be getting questions out here, bro. For for y'all people that What's fuck with on, us, guys? ask some questions. Going man. On. Ask some motherfucking questions. You want to know? We yeah. want to talk about it. And I told you about the uh, the one that uh, the girl said. Well, you're really five five. <laughs> <laughs> for the sake of this podcast, nigga, I'm five four, bro. Some days, you know what I'm saying? Just for clickbait. Just yeah, for clickbait. Some, sometimes I wake up, I'm five Just four. Sometimes I'm five five. If it's yeah, a good day, I wake up five five and a half. You know and what I'm saying? That's when you're being generous with yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you tip it to, that's when you tip it to uh, the with the ruler. Oh shit! Exactly. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, I know I be writing shit down. You know, I actually got some shit I want to talk about. I'm not gonna lie, but I kind of let's uh pick up for right now where uh, where we had left off. So we're in the coffee shop. Very, very far away from where we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're talking about, tell Chris, you know, I'd be confused, right? So probably like two podcasts ago or so, we talked about um, a little bit about uh, trans, like the trans community and how, you know, they wanted to be, uh, I guess, spoken, uh, like, uh, not not spoken to, how they wanted to be addressed. addressed. Exactly. Um, and, you know, we're kind of just having this discussion, whatever. And I kind of tell Chris, you know, what's confusing to me about uh, t today is that um, there will be, like, somebody who transforms. With, and you're trying to explain to me the whole transgender, transsexual thing, which I, I, I understand what you mean. But basically, there will be people who would uh, transform or transition into being you're going from a man to a woman mm -hmm. for example but they'll still be attracted to women so they'll be they'll look like a woman right and they identify as a woman but they'll still be attracted to women mm -hmm. That that's like Bruce Jenner. Bruce uh, Jenner, I, I but, just like that. But it's it's a full. He's a technically a full woman. Well, now. I, I don't think uh, Bruce Jenner slipped it up yet. No, I don't, I don't think no. he's cut it yet. No, I don't think so. But okay. uh, but I hear that Bruce Jenner again allegedly, um, he's not um he's not gay. Like he is attracted to women still. But that's the thing, like, this is where I'm super confused. Like, if physically you're no longer a woman, right? right. If you're not physically, you're no longer a woman, uh, and you like women, then are, are you gay? Well, I don't know. That's a good question. Well, technically, they wouldn't be gay, though, because they identify as a woman. So to them, they're not gay. They're, they're heterosexual, it, right? Uh, yeah. 
But I, or, or they finally were able to transform themselves to who they thought they were meant to be. Like, did they like evolve into whoever they were? Yeah, like, like it's, it's like, it's like you know, okay, you think you're a man. I mean, you're born a man, but you feel your whole life that you're a woman. You finally transition into a woman. It's, it's like you've been stuck in the wrong body your whole life, and now you feel like you're a woman. Like, I mean, you transformed yourself right into this woman or whatever. Now, you, to the world, you look like a woman, and I mean, technically, you wouldn't be gay because. I mean, if you're if you're not a woman, it's who you were always, right? Like so, to them, it's like, oh, I was always a woman. So, but to us, I mean, and when I say us, like you know, I guess I'm not in that community. I don't understand it that well. I haven't had conversation with people about them. So you know, it's like, uh, and which which directly gives and anybody who is from that community, like, oh, then why the fuck are you talking yeah. about it? Well, I'm talking about it because that shit be coming up in my head. I got fucking <laughs> questions about it. That's why I ask. You get me? Just ask fucking questions. So you want to? And so, well, th- and this goes down to this: if anybody from that community sees this. I don't want you to get mad. I want you to educate us. You get me? And talk to us. Facts. And kind of tell me Facts. how, you know, how the thing should how be. How should because, I talk about right, it? Right, because obviously it's an issue for you. Mm-hmm. It's why it's brought up and whatnot. So, you know, I, I want to be educated because sure, I, yeah. have, I have questions on it. Just like, you know, you might have questions about me and such. And I answer them too. You get me? You might be like, well, why the fuck don't you want to have a significant other in your life? And I'm going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> what's that for another day? But, you know, you know where I'm going with you this. Know, so, you I know, know exactly where you're going with this. So, essentially, you know... um, that, that that the whole scheme of things is that I get confused because okay, if the reason I'm confused is because okay, I get it, I understand because uh, the story I was telling you, right? The story is there's a man who is pregnant, and you think, how the fuck could a man ever get pregnant? So, the whole story is that you know, they're a couple, they're both tra- transgenders, so I don't or, or transsexuals, I, I don't know the whole scope of that. I guess it's transsexuals, and they didn't you know cut anything off, right? So, a woman turned into a man. The man turned into a woman, but they're a couple, so they're attracted to each other. But I guess that they're within themselves, they felt like they were trapped in the wrong body. So now the person that looks like a dude is pregnant, so it looks weird, right? Like it looks weird, right? Like because you're not used to seeing a man, uh, pregnant, you know, and, and whatever. So that's the, my whole confusion, right? And then like you know, when you kind of dig deeper and you have kind of conversations with people that are like aware of certain things, so like you know, the argument is yo. So, you know, the only difference between a man and a woman is really your parts, right? And, you know, and I heard that from somebody who's probably, like, maybe a little bit less educated than what they probably should be talking about certain things. Just because that's not, that's not true, right? You know, if you hit a woman, the damage that you will cause to a woman by your hit is probably more significant than the damage that she will cause you if she hits you. Based on the way my body is built, you mean? Well, yeah, you're a guy. You hit harder. Like, you have more power within... Hey, look, in most cases, a man is stronger than a woman, right? For the majority of the cases, right? Like, it's just like... If you're going to ask somebody to help you pick up a box, you're not going to call your girl. You're going to call your boys. You're going to help you move shit yeah, around. some girls don't even move bed items around. Bed items around. Right. Like, there's some girls that you ask, like, oh, can you please move a shoebox yeah, down? They, they, they won't even move that shit. You know I mean? Exactly. So you're not going to call a girl to yeah, do that, sure, right? Sure. So, you know, you kind of like maneuver and you kind of pick and choose what you're going to do. You know what I mean? I kind of see what you did there. But, you know, uh, at the end of it... <laughs> um, so, so when it comes down to that, you know, you, when you kind of get a little bit more, uh, I guess, education, you kind of start to pinpoint and realize that men and women are completely different, right? Like, I mean, hormonally speaking, men and women are completely different, right? Like, men normally have higher testosterone levels than women mm-hmm. do, right? And I'm sure there's just, uh, like, a small amount of women that have more testosterone. That's why, you know, you see some grandmas with mustaches nowadays, you get me? I had an English teacher who had a lineup. I think? Uh, no, no, a line up on her mustache. Oh. Like, her mustache was lined up. Like, I'm not even fucking around. Like, Why? I don't know. Why not shave? That's a great question. <laughs> like, her li- her mustache was lined up. Like, you know, if you let your mustache grow too much, that you know, it goes over your lips yeah. and stuff. Her thing will never go over her lips. And it's like, you see, like, the little fuzz, but no, that shit was lined up on the sides and all. Like, that shit looked like a barber came so with a blade. she took your time to fix it. Yeah, and maybe she has, like, a what you might call a hormone imbalance, whatever. But, you know, it's it's much more than the anatomy. The anatomy kind of goes off a lot more. You get me? So, I don't know. Like, that that, that whole thing for me was... It's just confusing to have the argument, um, especially when it comes down to, like, how you should, like, call people, how people identify as. The reason it's confusing is because, like, yo, what stops somebody from identifying as a 22-year-old when they're 16? Or somebody who identifies as a 10-year-old instead of a pedophile. Exactly. Like, what... you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, you know, when you start to, like, talk about how you identify and how we should start respecting how, how you identify and this, that, and the third, um, it starts to open up uh, gates. And I get, I get that it could be insensitive to some people, whatever, you know. But the, the, point, the point is that, like, you know, 
people talk about how they identify. Yeah. And then you kind of were talking about like, the, the whole absolute truth and like, yo, what truth remains like absolute, you know what I mean? Or is everybody else mm-hmm. like living your truth? We had a discussion before. Like, mm-hmm. oh, well, you know, about living your, your truth, right? like living your own, like, it's like you living your truth. I understand um, that, you know, the point of living your truth is that like, yo, if you're somebody who does something, but then doesn't like say that they do it or whatever, if somebody else comes along, they hold that power yeah, over you. you. you because you said you were going to do something. Exactly. So th- that's what, that's what, you know, the discussion that we were having at the time, mm-hmm. right? Because it comes down to like, okay, if you identify as a man and you've been hiding your whole life as that, right? And you finally come out, mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, I get to live my truth now. I don't have to, I don't feel like I'm hiding, blah, blah. I get it. You know what I mean? Like, I understand that aspect of it. But then, like, when you start to make, like, uh, old babies, will we won't gender, you know. Yeah, like, we won't whatever. identify them until they de- identify themselves. Right, right, right. You know, when you get to that extent, then it's like, well, then where do we put the cap on that? Like, where yeah, were we going to cap yeah, this? Because yeah. then, you know, just like we had a whole pride movement and all of that, mm-hmm. so we have a whole pride movement, then we're going to have a whole bunch of 16-year-olds who are going to have a whole... I feel like I'm 30 movement. You know what I mean? Why can I go into the club where the 21-year-olds are if I feel like I'm 21? You know what I mean? There's yeah. people that like that feel like that. There's people like, yo, <clears throat> they're 16 years old. They've been living on their own their whole lives. Oh, not their whole lives. They've been living on their own for a long time. They, they feel they grown. work. Yeah, they pay their bills. Shit, what, what, the, what the fuck makes them different? You know what I mean? I'm 24 yeah. and I have, I've done none of that. Yeah, I, I think it's just like... <laughs> I don't identify like, with an adult. <laughs> we need some kind of common ground. Is what right. I mean. Like, like a bottom sense. line. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. for me, I think that... I can understand there's like a multifaceted sexual orientations. Like I understand that, right? But I think gender should still be based on your body parts. Right, right, right. Because I, like, I, you know, if not, we get like this unknown until the child is old enough to decide. Mm-hmm. So is, yeah. h- how do you address these people? Yeah, because yeah. technically that child may, may be a boy and may say, in turn, I am a man, mm-hmm. a heterosexual man. So, but until that point, how am I going to address him? Yeah. Like, true, true. like, how am I gonna address somebody until they're like conscious, mister, like, miss, like, how until sir, they're consciously madam. able to identify themselves? You get me? Right, right. Yeah, I mean that's that, that's actually true though. Like, what what they? Because that 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 is a because now we're creating we're creating confusion. Right, right. And like, we, and an excuse for openness. Right. And how how would you dress that individual? Yeah. Because I mean the argument would be, oh, okay, but you know. Um, dressing up has nothing to do with genders, but for a long time it kind of has, right? Like you know, even color choosing or whatever, right? right? It has like yeah, pink is for girls, blue is for boys, like all of all of that, right? Like how would you even dress this person up? Would you dress them masculine? Like you know, what does that even mean now? It's almost like we start to question a lot of the things Everything. that came up, which like, is and, I, and I'm all, I'm all for questioning, right? I just feel like there has to be some kind of space mm-hmm. where we find some common ground and commonalities because if not. It's like I'm, I'm just confused to be honest. And and yeah. you were telling me about like you know, uh, we're discussing the whole idea of transgender, transsexual, which you know, transgender is is the transformation of gender. That's literally what it means. Mm-hmm. And transsexual is transformation of sexuality, yeah. right? And then there's uh, people who just dressed a certain way, right? Mm-hmm. And so there's uh, so many different things, and because of politically correctness, we we don't even feel like we can ask the question. Yeah. Like you know, like I'm gonna be honest with you. Sometimes I'm just confused. I don't, I don't understand the whole thing. Like, yeah. and I don't mean this. I, mean, I, I don't mean like in the sexual orientation. I mean in a whole mess of things. Like there's some words you use, and I'm like, dude, no clue what they mean because yeah. I'm just not in that. I'm not in that circle, and I feel like I can ask you those without the same repercussion that if I asked, you know, what's the difference between transgender and transsexual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I feel it's because like we're oversensitive. Yo, some of us are just. I don't, I don't know the answer, man. I ain't trying to be a jerk about it. I just don't yeah, know the answer. Yeah. Can you explain? Can you educate? Right. Instead of just saying, oh, you're heterosexual normative, blah, 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 blah. You're yeah, like yeah, throwing yeah. a bunch of rhetoric at me. Instead yeah. of like having the decency to be like, maybe this person really just doesn't get it. You know, and, and even to transition a little bit to that, what you just said, the whole sensitive thing is, is that's actually a thing. You know, I'm thinking, okay, you know, you're brought up a certain way, right? And you speak a certain way. So that means that when you say something to somebody, you say it in a tone or whatever, right? So like, a, for example, somebody like Charlemagne gets a lot of flack for the way that yeah, he, he talks. delivers, yeah, for right? Sure. Yeah. It, it, so it's, it's a lot has to do with the delivery. So for example, Charlemagne, uh, some artist could come in and be like, "Oh, well, I think your your music is trash." That's disrespectful. But if he would have said, you know, I don't think that you know the project it's that you appealing. did, yeah, was all that was your best work or whatever. Then it it, it, it almost like you you put this like soft thing to it, right? So it's almost like whoever you're having a conversation with, you have to almost like 
care so much yeah, about the you gotta feelings. filter everything right so. right right like you have to filter yourself so that you don't offend or disrespect somebody which you know it's almost like you're saying that we kind of have to um like cater to the other person right and it yeah. should be like that like they should also cater to us so that way there's almost like no problems mm. there's no friction or whatever but then that's kind of like that kind of defeats the purpose of being yourself, right? And, like, maybe who you really yeah. are supposed to be, right? Because, I mean, we've seen, like, the Howard Stearns uh, and the Charlemagne, right, talk crazy on the radio. Gary Vee just say how he feels it. Right, and, you know, and, and he, some of that Gary Vee is a little bit more compassionate yeah. uh, than Charlemagne, because Charlemagne is, but like, even so, I was watching sociopath. This, uh, I know, no, but I, I was watching somebody, like, ask Gary Vee, like, why do you cuss so much? Right. I know you saw that one like, in the classroom. Yeah, in the classroom with the, yeah, with the, the, with the, the girl. Yeah. He's like, he's like, what? Not like, yeah, you know? what the fuck? Not right. But you know, he, what he said though, look, and even in, and in it was that powerful. Realm, yeah, exactly. it was powerful. But my point is the same idea is we're trying to filter people, in in yeah. in, in hopes of liberty and freedom of expression. Right, but right, right. we're limiting people's expression anyways. Yeah, and and you know, in in tune with that, the worst thing about it now is like kids nowadays, and I'll say kids are like super sensitive right that it's like you can't rank nobody no more you can't say nothing because you literally face a, a fact that they might go home and kill yeah, themselves eventually that, constructive criticism is now is not even a thing it's right. called haters yeah haters yeah like dude yeah nah, you're not that popular to have haters yeah it's like, true. like you know, like if you told us we sucked, it's true. we wouldn't call you a hater. Yeah. Because we're not that big. Yeah, we're really like, not. Like if everybody thinks we're good and you say we're bad, then you're a hater. Right. But if we got three followers, well, like no, 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 it's not. You know what? No, no, it's not even that though. No, no, is we're not your because because exactly it's your opinion though. Like yeah. if you say oh they suck, that's your opinion. Yeah, that's cool. It's arbitrary. If, if you're like yo the the what they're saying is right. now if you if you go off to start saying lies and stuff like that, that's hating. You get me? Like if you yeah. get to a point where you like where you start mixing yeah. up facts, that person didn't even end anything. They yeah. didn't even do nothing. Exactly. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Then then yeah. Th at that point, then you're being a hater. Yeah. You get me? But if if you just go ahead and you comment and you're like oh those guys are trash. Yeah. They suck. Cool, that's your opinion. Yeah, you know I mean that's and, you're and entitled think, to your yeah, opinion. I think that we say everybody's entitled to opinion until their opinion goes against me. Right, right. Well, I mean, first of all, let's go think out the way, and this goes for us. Not everybody. There's an argument that's like not everybody should have an opinion. Yeah. Right. Which is is arguable. Like you might like you're not educated enough to have an opinion. Right. It's it's like you're not qualified to have yeah. an opinion on this, which is that's arguable. You know yeah. Like like the sure. the conversation of abortion where the men shouldn't have an opinion because it's not their body, right? That's right. the whole idea. That, exactly. Uh, or you know, I guess what we're just discussing right now, which is uh, the LGBTQ plus community, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know, we're heterosexual men. Right. You know, Hispanic. You know, Christian raised. Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. we shouldn't have an opinion, right? Right. Right. Uh, but like we know nothing. But of but that the, the whole idea of that what makes this country so great is the fact that I have the right to say what I want. Yeah, and yeah. I, don't, I don't mean that. I don't mean that like a, like a jerk. I mean the sense of like you know, what I I respect your and I'm not gonna go and interfere on your exp expression of who you are. Mm -hmm. So why should I feel like I have to limit who I'm expression of who I am? Right. You know, the, I remember having this argument with your brother way back. I'm talking about like maybe two years ago, right? We were in Orlando, right? Like one of the amusement parks. I don't even remember which one, and. We were having an argument in the line. You know, those lines be hella yeah. long, right? And we're having an argument about freedom of speech. He's like, you know, you don't really have freedom of speech. And I'm like, no, you do have freedom of speech. He, what he was trying to get at is that, yes, you can say whatever you want to say. But there's but repercussions. Exactly, there's repercussions. Like, people are going to always come back and be like, oh, this is the third. And I was trying, my argument was, yeah, but that's if you care about that, though. Like, if you care about what people have to think about what you say, that's different. Like, for example, if your livelihood depends on your opinion, for example, if you're a newscaster, right? Or some type of uh, late night show, talk show, or whatever, right? You work for a network, and they don't see, like, your opinion or whatever. They can cut you. They can cancel mm -hmm. you, right? You saw Stephen A. Smith, right? I don't know if yeah. you saw this week with Stephen A. Smith. He said something about the Jews, something along the lines of the Jews. And who, who who's the... Molly or something like that? That's like his, like... The girl? Uh, yeah, the girl. Yeah. I don't know her name. Is Ma Molly, Max, yeah. and Stephen A. Smith. Okay. So she, like, immediately... Like, clear, like yo, she like I guess they spoke to her in the speaker. She's like, oh, you know, we'll be back with uh whatever, whatever, whatever. And bam, he was saying something along with with the Jewish community, and you know, he made his his comments, and they're automatically calling him off. In those senses, I can see why you would like, kind of like have to filter your opinion. Yeah, right? but, like but, you don't have freedom of speech no, in their sense because no, you're and, fired. And yeah, number one and number two is because in that point you are serving as a representative 
a sports center. Right. So whatever you say yeah, yeah, is yeah. like all the sports center things. Yeah, is it's gonna look like uh, yeah. Which is is ESPN, right? ESPN. Uh, or is it sports center? Like well, it's it's ESPN both? is the whole network, the, and which is it's okay, part yeah. of Disney. Okay. So you know, like you are representing. Right, right. That's why, like you know, Damn, ESPN is part of Disney. Yeah, bro. bro Holy Disney shit, this is owns everything. everything. Holy. Why do you think yeah. they have the sports the the ESPN or sports center, whatever it's called, uh, amusement thing in Disney in Orlando? They have that. They yeah, man. That. Whatever it's called, I forgot Holy the name of the thing. Yo, ES, yo, Disney Channel even has every a, girl's a, mind. It has ABC. It has everything. But every girl's mind, like every girl thinks that the, they're waiting for their prince charming. Yeah. Think about that. Holy fuck. Okay. Yeah, but uh, so I understand sometimes you know you gotta understand by contract obligations or whatever mm -hmm. that you don't have freedom of speech. You know that the whole idea of what Chappelle was talking about in Sticks and Stones. Yeah. Right. That he's like I can't oh, say yeah. certain words. Right. I, I understand that you know you're in public television or whatever. You're an mm -hmm. icon, but. And I also understand that some words have to be limited. For example, you shouldn't be able to say bomb in an airport. Like, I understand why I can't say that. Right. You, you know? can't say bomb in the airport? Try. No, I don't want to try. <laughs> I don't want to try. But I'm saying you really can't no. say it? Or, or like, or you can't, like, if someone screams out fire or whatever, you know, yeah, they can get in trouble yeah, yeah. for those things. Oh, no, well, first of all, I understand why. You know, that's a like, very sensitive. And, and, and I understand that logically is the safekeeping of some people, right? Right, right, because right. Because that's what the whole idea is. You have freedom until your freedom interferes in somebody else's safety. Right, right. But, you know... And this is why, like, there's, like, a perfect disbalance to this balance. Like, some people are, are famous because they're so polarizing. Yeah. But then they have to go and apologize for being polarizing because, right, right, you right. know, we're living in a, such a sensitive world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Like, so, Cardi. I saw Cardi the other day having to, like, explain how she wasn't trying to be offensive to the gay community on Twitter because she said something, like, reckless, yeah. which is what made her famous in the first place. Right, literally. Like, being her, like yeah. yo, you guys made her famous for this, and now you guys are back, like, stabbing yeah. her and but bashing her for this? You know, but that, that's, that's I think that's, like, the, the, there's always going to be the thing forever. You know what I mean? Like, people, they love you one second, and then they hate you the next. For yeah. the same reason. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, that, that's why, like, you know, there's always a, a big stress on, like, especially, like, public figures and celebrities or whatever, right? It's like, like, it's like, yo, they, they love you one second and they're praising you and they're loving you. And that's how you know the difference between real love and fake love, right? It's like, yo, these people who claim they love you and whatever is like, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, it's but, seasonal. Yeah, it's, it's like, yo, the minute you do some shit that's like out of pocket, you get me? Like the the second you do that shit, they're really ready yeah, to cancel sure. you yeah. and be like, yeah, I right, fuck this yeah. person. We don't fuck with this person no more. It's like, yo, it's, they get you out of there ASAP. You get me? And they really like cancel you all together. You get me? So, I mean, and you know, I guess coming back to it, with this whole um, talk of like uh, being sensitive, you know, with with kids, man, it's like I remember being in lunch, and there was a you know I remember seeing a meme that you know in the lunch tables that they had in lunch is like yo this is where every kid got ro some shit got roasted yeah. some shit it's like yo it's fact I remember being in lunch in high school and that's all we would do lunchtime came you chill with all your friends in the table. Get ready to get smoked. You get me? Either yeah. you came with some smoke or you're going to get smoked. You get me? It was like a battle. You get me? Like nonstop. Yeah, just which is funny because like, you know, we used to say back in the day, right? Like sticks and stones would break my bones, but words would never hurt me. Right. Now it seems the other way. Yeah. Like I'd rather you throw stones at me yes. than throw words at me. Exactly. Now it's like, yo, yeah, but you know, it, that's really serious too. Like, man, I was reading uh this, this statistic that says 800,000 people die a year from suicides, right? Like, they kill themselves, essentially, in this country. I'm like, God damn. But, you know, even though, even though like, it sounds crazy, do you think that's, like, a natural thing that needs to happen? <laughs> and I'm going to... This is why... But wait, wait, bear with me first before you even get there. It's crazy. Think about this. Isn't. Think about this. We live on Earth, right? Natural there's, selection. There's 8 billion people, right? Or close to 8 billion yeah. people. We're still in 7 uh, billion. We're almost at like don't you think that, like, if we continue to just reproduce and people won't, don't die, like, if people don't really die, don't you think that we'll be overpopulated at oh, one point? Yeah, that's the, the, that's the whole Thanos is, thing. That's the whole projection thing. Right, but that's the whole, th think about it, that's the whole Thanos thing. Like, Thanos came and destroyed half of the population, right? Like, like with, with no selection, just random people at one time because it, the, the galaxy was too overpacked, right? And the Avengers were like, nah, fuck that. We don't want that shit to happen because you fucked over a lot of people that we actually love. Because, you know, if you really think about the Avengers, if they didn't kill so many people that they loved, do you really think they would have gone through first, all those things to all, go back? First of all, if he if he snaps and the whole world disappears but America, ain't nobody moving. 
Right. It ain't nobody moving. Right. Well, I mean, yo, think about that shit, though, bro. Like, yo, the only defenders of the galaxy are these people, right? And they're all American. And, and they're all American. And, well, no, they're not all American. Like, you have Thor and, like, nah, you got well, motherfuckers that aren't American. Well, well they got Thor is not even. Yeah, Thor's I mean, not even. Guards of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Let's say, like, yeah. we gotta forget about who's there. But that's not what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is that if, do you think that if the if the Avengers didn't lose loved ones in that snap, do you really think they would have gone through the works that they went through to get everybody back? Well, it's. I don't think so, they're man. They're heroes. Heroes always nah, do the right man, thing. I don't know. I don't think they would have gone back in time, altered time, and they didn't lose. Who did they, they lost a lot of, they lost Black Panther. They lost, um, well, first of all, let's not even get into who they lost. They lost Spider-Man, uh, yeah, uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah. So much motherfuckers that, that that scene when they come back is fucking iconic. Yeah, where everybody just army starts showing motherfuckers up, yeah. come back. You get me? It's like, holy shit. Yeah, so, you know, so, so I said all of that to say, like, yo, you know, people kill themselves. Do you think that's a natural thing, though? Like, do you think that's something that should happen? Because how, how else do people die? By mistake, they get hit by a car, gang yeah, violence, war. wars. There was the last time we had a war. A real war? Well, that's like, in in humanity, that, was the last time like, they, like countries are shooting at each other? Like, I don't, I don't feel like that doesn't even happen. Does that even happen nowadays? Like, pe- countries... Because, you know, like, how does a war even happen? Like, like I'm talking about when they fight. Like, do they really just shoot at each other? Like, well, how you see in, like, movies? In the, back in the days, yeah. Now, now it's like missiles and strikes. shit. Right, drone Hella strikes. Drone that's strikes. basically what it is Hella now. strikes. Right. Um, but do you, do you think, like, people need to die in all these kind of different ways in order for us to not be yeah, it's so... Yeah, like, this, this is the problem, right? The problem is... Um, People are sedentary now, mm-hmm. right? So that allows you to reproduce more. Right. Um, medicine has advanced a lot more, right. so you're allowed to live longer now, mm. right? Uh, you have most people, more people have access to food, right. so now you have a guaranteed consumption. Like you're not gonna starve to death and die, mm. right? So now, whereas people were dying at fifty, so you needed to have as many kids as possible. Mm. Now people are dying until a hundred. Yeah, so yeah. now you're seeing like generation stacking up on top of each other rather than the generation died off next comes in and so that is creating overpopulation or uh, like an influx of over people that's why people in china have like the one child law because like dude there's too too many children they're not dying you know and and And, and so the whole projection is that by 20 who knows what there's not going to be enough food right right, there's not going to be enough sources of whatever for the world population so that's why it's smart now to make fake food, right? Like you see how they make fake yeah. lettuce. Yeah, and because they're like, oh, we gotta be able to feed everybody. Right. But right. then there's also the argument that what if they're just putting viruses and killing off people in this food? That, that that's the thing though, right? That is the thing. Like they're saying, like, yo, they'll spray crops with certain bullshit. So they can kill you. Yeah, they uh you know like the the crop dusters, like the planes yeah. that come through and they like they, they put that in the airs and stuff like that. So it's like it's like a slowly trying to like, you know, kill, kill people, people off, give yeah. them cancer, like shit, you the know. Viruses. Right. So, I mean I mean, if you think about it, I mean, perfect, perfect industry to ever profit from will be food industry, yeah. right? People need to, like, eat, eat food. Always. And if you have the food industry and they partner up with, like, chemo people, right? It's like, yo, fuck. We can put small cancers in these foods that give more. Because, yo, nowadays everything gives you cancer, bro. You eat a burger, bro, sesame seeds have cancer. Lettuce has cancer. Like, anything could give you cancer nowadays. Too much sex will give you cancer. You know that? Like, if you have too much sex, it could give... Uh, so too much sex apparently like does too much to the male prostate that like, it could give you prostate <laughs> cancer. Think about that shit. Fucking bro, like even fucking gives you too much cancer. That's like the most natural thing. That's like the first thing Adam and Eve probably did when they were like kicked like, out yo, of the garden. So like shit, I like so. what you got there. You know what I'm saying? Like even that. So it's like everything nowadays can give you cancer. I, um, what's that thing? Um, that you get a hemorrhoid. You know what that is? Yeah, the the blood. The, yeah, like it's like a vein mm-hmm. vessel, shit like that. Like when you strain your body too much, you can get in any yeah. part of your body. Like yo, any little thing now this fucks you up, right? Like like it, it causes yeah, like things that you don't realize. Like holy fuck, that, that's when you really realize that you know we're sensitive in the fact that we can die at any second, Everything. right? Like yo, Everything. like 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 a tap like this, right? Does nothing to you. But if I was fucking Hulk and I tapped like that on your chest, you're probably gonna <laughs> die. You get me? Like your whole just shattered. yeah, your whole chest would break. You get me? Like so, it's it's crazy. Like how you kind of like yeah, just we're start fragile to look at humanity. For sure. Um, but yeah, fuck man, we're gonna die, bro. No, we're all gonna fucking die. I'm gonna tell you that right now. We're all gonna <laughs> fucking die. All right, man. And I I do want to talk about something. Though. Hold up, let me bring this up. It was about uh okay. So what do you think about laziness? I don't, you probably haven't thought about it enough. But when you think about laziness, what do you think about laziness? Like, what do you what, what comes to your head when you think about laziness? Wasting time, doing nothing. Okay. Uh, idleness. Okay. 
So like just just being still, like a motherfucker nah, doesn't really nah, do nothing. Nah. What do you mean? Not being still, doing nothing. Cause mm. being still requires focus. Like actually being. Like still. you mean being still like. I mean being still like like the moving. sense of meditation, sense of like reflection. Okay, okay. It requires focus. Right. Because nowadays we're a generation that's never still. We're never. jittery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about it. Like if you and I were to stay here for like the next three minutes. You start looking for your phone. Yeah. You start looking for something. Like right now, do. I remember, yeah, because it's like you don't know what yeah, stillness is. You got fidget spinners yeah. and shit. Yeah. You don't know what stillness is. So I don't think stillness is laziness. I think laziness is idleness. It's when you are not doing nothing productive. Because stillness can be productive. It can yeah. be peace to the mind, peace for the soul. Yeah. But idleness is when you're doing something that's not productive at all. Because even okay. sleeping is not laziness. Ro- no. Oversleeping True. is True. laziness. Okay. Now, let, let, let me change your perspective for a minute, right? Now, you know, Bill Gates said that if I have a very hard task, I rather hire a lazy person to do it because lazy people usually find the fastest way to get it's something, to get the hardest things done, right? So, like, for example, if, you know, cooking chicken, right? And back in the day, cooking chicken meant that you had to, like, cut them, kill that motherfucker, put him in a stick, and twist that little mm-hmm. fucking stick over a fire yeah. until he was nice and roasted, right? And then, you know, we started to, like, develop. We made pans. Mm-hmm. Now we flipped the, the chicken. We made grills. We got easy, easy ovens. Probably, like, one of the easiest things to do now is just to put a chicken in the microwave or whatever, and that shit cooks mm-hmm. there, right? Or, I don't know, however, yeah. is the fastest way to cook chickens, right? Like, we, we developed certain ways to, to do that. But, you know, I think that if you are somebody who is considered lazy, you got to look at what you consider lazy at, though. You know what I mean? Because some of us aren't really lazy. Like, and I think most people aren't lazy. The thing is that what are you doing that you don't like that other people think you're lazy for? Because, you know, we live in a world now where it's like, okay, you need to make money to make a living, right? And we focus so much on, like, all the things that we need to obtain, right? Which I was having this conversation with a friend the other day. And I was telling her, yo, do you really realize how much bullshit we think we want that we don't really want? You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people, they, they feel like, okay, you know, I want to have a house. I want to have kids. I want to have my husband. I have a nice car. By the time I'm 30, 35, you know, and I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be fulfilled. And those things are things that you really want or those things that you've been programmed to think that you mm-hmm. want. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't stop to think about the things that they really want. You know what I mean? Like, why do you want a big house? Why do you want a nice house? Why do you want a nice car? Like, why do you mm-hmm. want those things? Like, what, what is it about those things that you actually want? Or is it like, yo, you know, the rest of the world tells me or I've been programmed to think that I need these things because I've been watching uh, TV mm-hmm. commercials. I've seen the Joneses, yeah, yeah. all of that shit, right? So... We, we say, like, yo, if somebody's just playing video games, right? Because, like, I, I've heard girls say, like, oh, I will never date a guy if he's just fucking playing video because I can't handle that. Yeah, but when your guy is, like, ninja or when your guy is, like, the kid who just won $3 million yeah. in the contest, yeah. then you wouldn't be fucking saying that anymore. You know what I mean? Because now we've created this system where it's, like, yo, we take the tasks that we once thought were, like, foolish, right? Like, your kids are, like... Uh, your parents will be like, yo, stop playing so much video games. It's going to rot your mind. You're not going to do nothing. And now it's like, well, shit. You get know I me? Mean? We fucking made an entire thing of it. Right? I'm sure before sports was so, yeah. uh, I guess, you know, like um, lucrative, I guess you could say, before you got big paychecks. I'm sure that people were like, yo, why the fuck are you wasting your time swinging the bat around? When you should be working. When you should, yeah, exactly. You should be uh, building a house or I don't know, whatever the fuck was popular back then that, you know, you had to do. So before, and again, it goes back to what you said last time. It's like, yo, Everything is crazy until it's not crazy, yeah. right? So the people that we deem to be lazy, they're not necessarily lazy. It's just the things that they're doing, they don't like to do. Like, nah, but I, I do think there is lazy people. Like, for example, like and I'll tell you the perfect example of lazy people. Mm-hmm. Someone who wants a, a fit body, right, but doesn't have the, the, the fortitude of mind to get it done. Right. But you see, That person's lazy. No, no, no. Now, I'm going to give you the rebuttal to that now. That person doesn't really want to be fit, though. That person is looking... At all. That okay, guy is oh, okay. fit. So I understand what you're saying. You're saying that, that the underlying tone is nonsense anyways. It, the, what I'm trying to... It, that's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. Like the there people, is no lazy people. It's just liars. It, yeah, exactly. It's programming. I'm trying to tell you... I'm trying to give you a different perspective of how to look at things, right? That, that's what I'm trying to do. So you can take it or not. What I'm trying to say is that this. Why... Okay. If you say you want to be fit, right? Why are you not fit? It's because like you're too lazy to go work out. No, that you just don't like working out. You get me? Working out is not for everybody, as we can see in America, right? And we call people lazy. But like, yo, I, I said it uh, last podcast, right? Which was, again, shout out to Uncle C. Uh, Charlemagne was saying that shit. We need to fashion shame people. That shit, we do. I, I was telling you, you know what? Fat shaming, think about it. We we try to be very careful, right? With how we talk to people, right? Like, no, no, no. They don't say that. They're, they're big. not, they're not yo, big. We are, they're round. We are glorifying 
uh, health problems with those people when we do things like that. When we're like, you know, we accept you as you are. Yeah, okay, sure. We accept you as you are, but go to the fucking gym. So Stop we, being we shouldn't, fat. We shouldn't have plus size models. No, I don't think, no, I don't think we should have plus size models, first of all. That, no? That, no, okay, I'm going to tell you why. And big and tall shouldn't be a thing. Well, big and tall is different. Tall being no, but big, big and tall clothing, big, right? You're talking about big and tall clothing. Like, that's no, but, different. but they have models for that too. Yeah, but no. Like, the, the thing is this. Okay, if you are unhealthy, right? If you're... Because when it comes down to plus size, if you're a plus size woman, meaning that you're not... You know, subject to like super skinny. That's not your body. I. That's a whole different story. That's Versus not yeah, co- like high cholesterol, Egg, diabetes. Exactly. Okay. That's, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like I'm not because I've seen some models that are fat. Like, but are you unhealthy? That that's my question yeah. to you. You get me? Because having high amounts of body fat on you, you know, could lead to other health mm-hmm. problems. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to get at. So we glorify these things too much. You get me? It's like yo, um, okay, uh. A plus size model, right? If you see a super overweight plus size model, that's catering to an audience of women who are constantly complaining about, oh, well, we don't have clothes made for us, and the ideal woman looks like this, but we're a bunch of women that look like this. It's like, okay, but what are you doing to change that? Do you really want to look like that? No. Most of the people's complaints is, why are they glorified and we're not? So you're complaining about a group of people being glorified when there's a bunch of men who love big women. You know what I mean? It's just because the masses aren't saying that you're beautiful, you're butthurt about it. That's the problem with most people. They want to hear like the masses talk about them like, and their at me, things. Look at me, look at me. Yes, exactly. It's a whole bunch of look at me. So the so going back to what you're saying, somebody who wants to be fit and doesn't go to the gym, they don't want to be fit. They want the shit that comes with being fit. So for example, if you're a ripped up motherfucker and you see the guy in the movies in Hollywood, he's ripped and he's getting other girls, that's why you most more than likely want to be ripped, right? Because you know, not every girl likes her Arnold body. Yeah. You get me? Some girls, most girls are probably like, nah, that's too much. You get me? But some guys are like, yo, I want to get big, I want to get this, but why? Like, do you actually want that? And why do you actually want that? You get me? Is it because it's going to make you, like, feel better? Mm-hmm. And it's going to make you feel better? Why? You get me? We don't ask these questions. We just want shit because, like, okay, I look up to uh, Chris Brown. And Chris Brown has 10 Lamborghinis. I want a fucking Lamborghini, too. You get me? You don't ask. Like, most people will tell you that they want something. It's very rare for them to say, oh, I want that because it has this much horsepower. And it has this and it has that. And I, and I love this and I love I love the mechanical and I love the... Like, they don't tell you shit. They just say, oh, that shit looks nice. You get me? I know this from talking to girls. There's girls that, like, yo, my dream car is a Benz. Ask them, okay, which Benz? You know, the Benz. The, the, uh, one, the one that has the, the, the yeah, ring yeah, yeah. The one that the has the sign in the middle. Exactly. That, that, you know, they don't even know. They just know that they want this uh, representation yeah, of brand. what the world or society has shown you. This is what success stands for. You get me? Like, you look at uh, people with, like, Cartier bracelets and shit like that. Right? The love bracelet. Oh, she has a Cartier bracelet. Why, why the fuck is that bracelet so iconic? You get me? Like, the Rolex watch is so iconic. So, so people that know about, uh, what is it called? Uh, time, time, no, it's not con. Uh, orgeology, you know, the, the, the study the of time, time and shit mm-hmm. like that. Well, whatever. Our, our or some shit like that. Those people that know about movement, know about how shit is made, can appreciate that. I understand why you would like watches. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's people that are like that, real watch connoisseurs. And there's other people that's like, well, I would, I just want to buzz down because, you know, you know the, I heard these rappers say like, oh, uh, they don't ask them, like, oh, so do you even know the time? I was like, man, I don't, I don't even know the time on this. So I just have it because... I can't read it. Yeah, like, it, it's no function to yeah. a watch them, right? Everybody has their yeah. phones. It's just like, yo, that shit is buzz down. It's, it's, like, a, stable. it's a Patek. Yeah, it's it's a like, stable. you know, it, it's like, yo, it, it's a hot thing now, right? Like, they're, they're, you know, like the Richard Mill watches, right? Super expensive watches. Watches that go to like $750,000, a million dollars. And people buying them because it's a hot thing. Rappers made it hot, right? But people want it. Why? Because the hot thing is a trendy thing to have. So it kind of just goes back to what I'm saying. There, depending on the perspective that you have on things, you need to ask, do you really want these things? Why are you considered lazy? Because most of the most lazy people are good at something. You get me? Like they're usually good at something. Like Yeah, but but I don't I don't think laziness equates directly to like uh being bad at life. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying laziness equates to having skills that you're not using is what I would consider lazy. Well, like, also... So, for example, like, you said, oh, uh, Bill Gates said that he would hire a lazy person. But that person is not lazy. That person is efficient. Well, if I in could that find, sense... If I could find a faster way of doing something, I'm not lazy. I'm smart. Right. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, that, that that would be called being efficient. Yeah. The thing is that there's some people that you give them a task and to do that task from A to B. Like, yeah. like exactly how yeah, you how specify you forever. them. They will not innovate. Yeah. They will yeah, not yeah. try to, like, yeah. make they, that process yeah, better. They're not trying to find efficiency. They're not trying to be, uh, you know, entrepreneurs in the sense of, like, breaking ground right. or whatever. Right. So, I mean, I, I just think that there's, there's a whole different lens 
that people don't watch things through, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we we are quick to call certain people lazy. Like, for example, oh, you don't have a job. You're a lazy bum. Well, okay, sure. Maybe that guy doesn't want to work corporate America, right? He has something. He just hasn't put in the work. Because the thing is that putting in, do you think that putting in the work, right, on something that you actually want to do and be, I think that's when we can call you lazy, right? Like, if there's something that you really, truly want and you're not putting in the work for it, then we can call you lazy yeah, or but, unmotivated or, or, yeah. or, or you, can say, or you or lack you, the mindset, yeah. Or right? you can say you really don't want it. Or, exactly, or you can say, well, that person doesn't really want that shit. Yeah, you, know they, you gotta be hungry. They just you gotta hustle. It. Exactly. I mean, look, we have we have uh, The Joker, right? And we just saw the movie The Joker last week, right? So, uh, eh, not too many spoilers. But, okay, Joker tried to be a comedian, right? And, and he will write jokes. He'll go up to the comic people and, yeah. and, and, and ha-ha, laugh, and write jokes down and shit, right? Take notes. Right, take notes. And he had a little joke He was book. a good student. He was a good student. Right, like, so, so you can see that he's kind of actually trying to, like, you know, put in this work. But until but the Joker isn't your uh, traditional comedian. He's not going up on stage. You don't go to the improv theater. You know what I mean? To go watch him. You know what I mean? You're not uh, going to a sold out, sold out show mm-hmm. in a, a football stadium to go watch him. You're not watching him on your TV. Right now, for him, the joke and like the understanding life, because he has a diff- he has an aspect of life too. Like he yeah. has, a, if you really pay attention to the joke, a lens movie, through which you see exactly. The world. It's like he sees like yo, the world is it, like nothing matters. Mm-hmm. It's basically how he's looking at it. Like so, what we kill somebody, mm-hmm. so what we do these things. Like it just doesn't. Nothing matters. Having sugar, that's why I think like the Joker. If you really think about it, has like the biggest connection with Batman in in the sense, right? Batman has this code. You know, he doesn't kill nobody. He wants, you know, like, order, structure, whatever. And the Joker has no structure. So, it's like, Joker's job is, like, to try to get Batman on that side. Yeah. He's like, yo, just come to this side. Because so it's can, pointless. Right. Like, it's all pointless to try to be good. It's all pointless. So, that that's the lens that he sees. That most people see that's crazy. But that's the whole point of having conversation. That's the whole point of having discussion. It's like, yo, you see other people's points of view. Mm-hmm. And it's important to see other people's points yeah. of view. Because that's how you get mentally... That's how you're able to grow. You know what I mean? Like, sure, you can do sh- certain things to get experience from it. But if you're not talking to other people and seeing how they view the world, mm-hmm. you're never going to get a different point of view because you're so stuck on your point of yeah, view. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. I, I think we need to be open to the fact that the world is not just how we see it. Like, there's different paradigms, different perspectives. Because um, you could call somebody lazy when they're waiting, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas you're working every day, but their waiting pays off probably more than you're yeah. working because yeah. they were... They were waiting on the right situation or the right yeah. opportunity. So yeah, I, I do understand that, but I do also believe that there's lazy people. But I think I think you closed it up perfectly in the mm-hmm. sense that we don't have to be close minded to just because somebody has called that person lazy the whole life doesn't mean you have to see them lazy. Yeah. Maybe they're just wise. <laughs> L- let me ask you something. What do you what do you think equates to success? I think success is uh equates to impact. Like, not necessarily, like, you know, huge mass followings. Just impact and, like, using who you, the things you have and the skills you have and the person you are to make the world just a little bit better. Okay. That is success. What do you think the world sees as success? Like, oh, I guess, like, a general... Wealth. Right. Whether that's, like, a financial bank account or whether that is, you know, just luxury or whether that is material goods. Yeah. That's what the world accounts as success. Because that, that's what I was thinking. I think the same thing, right? Like, what, what you're saying is, like, you know, success is... Uh, I think success should be something very personal, right? Like, what you consider to be successful, right? Because usually success equals to how happy you'll be. That's how, At least that's how most people think of, about it, right? Like, yo, once I'm successful, I'll be happy, mm-hmm. right? Which I think is wrong, by the way, but, you know, whatever. That's just a, a train of thought. So, I think most people, though, do view people as, like, yo, if you've made a lot of money, if you've amassed a lot of luxury things, if you have a lot of fame, you're successful, mm-hmm. right? But, you know... Okay, what if you're a bum, or what the world considers a bum, right? Your whole life. You're a, literally a homeless man, right? And one day, you decide to walk into a store, you had enough money, and mm-hmm. you bought a lottery ticket. And you win the lottery, and you win $50 million. And now you are you have money. Is Will we deem that person as a society a successful person now because he has money? No, we have double standards. Right, like, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll be like, well, no, he they didn't just got it. the yeah, lottery. Right, so, it. but most people, though, first of all, if they don't know your story, they wouldn't even know that shit. Let's get that shit out of the way. This guy gets a, wins the lottery, right? He goes, gets his money now, right? Okay, cool, you're homeless man, you get money, you take a shower, you shave your hair, you shave your beard off, you get clean, you, you buy a house, you nice cars, whatever. You're fucking, you have $50 million, you rule the world, right? We won't even know that this guy won, yeah. won the lottery. We're just looking at him like, oh, he pulled up in a Rolls Royce and nice clothes. Yeah. 
First of all, anybody in the Rolls Royce, but, but no it, matter how you dress, yeah. you already think, oh, yeah. this guy's successful. But that's that's where we go to the fact that uh, even that kind of success, when you focus on that kind of success, it's all proportional, right? And it's yeah. all biased. Why? Because you and I will say, that person's balling. Yeah. And then there's pretty, so then there's the whole idea of old money, new money. Okay, yeah. Right? And so yeah. old money is more valuable to some people than new money. For sure. Like, you know, like you see these rappers and it's new money. rich families don't look at them like they're rich. They go, they're poor. Yeah. And then there's the whole idea of, of you know, Tip said it best. He says, you know, you can be piss poor morally. Right? Uh, you know, because like, you can be rich in finance, but you're an ignorant person in life. Right. And so you're poor in general. Right. Or, or, um, so like a Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're taking shots. Right? <laughs> like and so, I'm not taking shots. Yeah. That, if Chip said that, he's yeah. probably, probably talking about Donald Trump. You know, I'm guessing. Um, <laughs> and there's this whole idea of, uh, I was, uh, somebody um, I, I read wrote this, you know, they like they asked him, oh, you know, how does it feel to be rich? He goes, I've always been rich, and sometimes I've had money. Mm, damn, who's that from? Uh, Erwin McManus said that he's a he's a pastor, but okay. somebody asked him that, and I think that's powerful. I think that's yeah, a way yeah. of looking at money and looking at yeah. success. Yeah, it's like I've always been successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I got up and fought every day yeah. to live this life to get yeah, through yeah. the day, yeah. right? And some days I'll have money. Yeah, that, that's like that's like uh, they asked Bob Marley. You know, I don't know if you ever saw the interview. It's like a clip they always put. They asked Bob Marley, "Oh, um, are you a rich man, right?" And Bob Marley asked the interview. He's like, "Well, what do you consider rich?" And you know, the the guy asked him like, "Well, you know, do you have like you know money? Do you have stuff, things?" And he's like, "You think that's what rich is?" He's like, "No, if if you're talking about those riches, I don't I don't value those kind of riches, you know." I value uh, life, you know, mm-hmm. people. I, I forgot yeah. what the whole thing was saying. Yeah. But, you know, it, it, it's very true. You know, this is the thing, though. The the sad thing about it, and it's almost hard because you yourself are almost uh, guilty of the same thing, is that we don't listen until the billionaire talks. Like, once the billionaire, mm-hmm. right, or the multimillionaire starts to talk, because not even millionaires, because, you know, there's a lot of millionaires that are talking yeah. that we don't necessarily listen to them. But once, like, the billionaire talks, yeah. That's when we start to listen. That's like when like the, oh, okay, like maybe that's how you do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because when Warren Buffett comes up and tells people how you should invest, like the Warren Buffett rule, 70 in socks, 30 in bonds, people listen to that shit. But when the kid who just started a YouTube channel maybe has 10,000 uh, subscribers and has been has 100 videos out on finance or whatever, you hear him say that shit, he's like, okay, you probably ignore it. You know what I mean? And, There's and, no credibility. And to, exactly. It's... it's but I feel like that's the thing, though. Money almost gives you a, a, this kind of credibility. It's like you've worked... Because m- getting money, it's not hard to get money. You know what I mean? Let's get yeah. that one out of the way. I think that people make this thing like a like it's hard to get money. It's not hard to get money. Getting money is everywhere. You've said it before. There's an abundance of riches yeah. out there. You know what I mean? There's a lot of money out there. It's not hard to get yeah, money. Yeah. It's just how are you figuring out how to get money in the way that you enjoy getting money? That's really how it, it falls down yeah, to. Yeah, for sure. But... Getting money, though, is hard for a lot of people to do. You know what I mean? Even though the several is not hard to get money, it's, a lot of, it's hard for a lot of people to get to it. Yeah, to find that niche, that right. market. And, and, and maybe it could be mindset. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it is that they haven't found that niche or that market. But whatever the case may be. So that's why when it's like, yo, I want to have money. I want to be rich. So maybe I should listen to yeah. this guy. And that's usually how it starts. Yeah, and, and definitely money uh, gives you that, that credibility that maybe we don't have. Like, for example, I can tell somebody right now, and tell them, yo, money will not make you happy. Right. They're going to be like, it's easy for you to say you're broke. And I'm yeah. going to be like, touche. But then no. they see rich people committing suicide. Right, right, right. And they're like, damn, maybe money doesn't make you happy. Well, actually, I think that's the opposite, though. Like, I think that I, I think that when you're broke and you say money won't make you Because I, I think what you said is right. People will say that. People will say, oh, yeah, yeah, you say that because you're broke, though. You have no money, yeah. right? That Yes, people do say that. But I think there's the opposite. I think that when you say, while you're broke, money doesn't make you happy, then you're ahead of your time. Because when you do make money, that goes to show. That, 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 that's, you know, that's one of the things I like about this show is that I said it. Like, yo, you get to see frame by frame where the start of everything is to where it is right mm-hmm. now and where it will be 10 years or whatever. Whatever the time frame is for this. You get to see it frame by frame, right? And you get to hear what we're saying today, right? And if any of those things change, you get to call us out on it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And, and, like, like, oh, if, you, you adjusted. Exactly. It's like, yo, well, you said this and you said that, but that's the whole thing of growth. That's the whole thing of everything. But regardless of it, though, people, you hear millionaires say this all the time. Yo, money won't make you happy. I've been in the penthouse. I've been here. I've been there. I've been there. Whatever, whatever. It does not make me happy. But then you kind of think to yourself, okay, you need to get money to understand that. No. Look, a very wise man said this one time. 
Smart people learn from their mistakes. Wise people for, learn, learn from, from the mistakes other of others. Yeah. That's it. You know what I mean? Other people are telling you, yo, you shouldn't do X, Y, and Z. You, you probably shouldn't do this. And if you choose not to listen, okay, you want to go out and make your own mistakes? Cool. You know what I yeah. mean? You want to save yourself some time? Listen to some people that been through some shit. Go go read some stories. Yep. Go watch some videos about people who been through some shit Facts. and understand, oh shit, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't do that mm-hmm. shit. You know what I mean? Maybe I should take a different road. Maybe I should make a different decision. You know what I'm saying? But most people, they don't really want to yeah, go through that nah. shit. They want to, nah, man, you know, once I get, because I'm telling you, man, I think a lot of people, the reason why a lot of people are fucked up mentally is because they have this idea of like, once I obtain the shit that I've been yeah, wanting, it, I'm going to be happy. But I'm it's, be it's being poor mentally. Exactly, yes. Because, like, you know, you got to understand this, right? Everything, including money, is a tool. Mm-hmm. Everything yeah. is a tool. Yeah. And so if you see it that way, then the question is not what do I have, is what can I make with what I have? Yeah. Because let's be honest, bro. It's easier to be happy when you have money because you don't have to worry about the basics. Exactly. Right? It's yeah. easier. But doesn't mean you're going to be happy. Mm-hmm. It's easier to be happy when you're healthy versus when you're sick because mm-hmm. you don't have to worry about being sick. Mm-hmm. Yet, I see people who are about to die that are happier people who have the whole life to live. Hell yeah. Because they yeah. realize all I have is what I got. Yes. I don't got that. What if? What if? Because a lot of us are living with the what if, so we're missing the now. So <sighs> what I have now, it's all I have. It's not all I'm going to have, but it's all I have now. Yes. And that should be good enough for exactly. now. Bro, look, you know you know what that shit reminds me of? Like, yo, you see people living here, right? They're living in, like, whatever, uh, like, tiny efficiencies or wh- whatever the fuck they're living in, right? And it's small places. And they, they're like, yo, I can't live like this. I can't believe you live like this. Yo, I'll never forget my trip to Honduras when I was, like, in um, maybe, I think, my, like, the time where I, I could really understand mm-hmm. shit, right? Like, maybe in high school. When I was driving, I don't even remember where I was driving to. I wasn't driving though. I was getting driven. And I'm looking at the mountain. I asked my mom. I'm like, mom, are those houses on the mountain? She's like, yeah, you know, people live up there in like little like brick houses, little sheds. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. She's like, yeah, people live up there. And I'm like, yo. And I would imagine to myself, right? Like, yo, people live up there. They're probably happy up there, right? Some of those people might be miserable up there. But I mean, if you live up there in the mountain, is that a choice? Is that like, do you have to live up there? How does that work? Part of it is need. Like, big part of it is need, Uh to be honest. Like, you're saying they need to live up there? No, like the poverty-wise, right? Like, you know, your family lives there. You have to support people. But also, is ignorant is bliss. Mm-hmm. Money people don't have comparison mm-hmm. of how other people live, right? Because you know they don't have access to social media or whatever. Yeah. So they're living happy because what they've known, yeah, is good enough, right? But but that, that's a, I I would imagine so too. I'm like yo, you live up there, and, and and just to put this into comparison, do you live up there and you're with your kids or whatever? You gotta come walk miles down to a well to get water, right. go back up there. Like you have that. And I'm sure you have no electricity, no nothing up there, right? And you compare to like how uh, how we consider poor people, Section Eight or whatever, to live here. It's like, bro, you're staying in the fucking Far Star Hotel if that's the sense. You get me? Because yeah, you coming from like, ex- but that's 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 the thing that people don't understand. They don't people don't understand, understand that. that it's all about a perspective yeah. in life. Yeah. Like, how do you see things? You get yeah. me? Like, like yo, some people's like yo, like yo, I, I and I always going back to this, but I don't understand like how some people are like. Yo, I'm broke, 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 right? And like, I said this last time, you kept saying like, oh, well, that's what I said, that's what I said. No, the difference between, like, you say I'm broke fucking around, but you just, and even if you're not fucking around, right? Because I see your I'm face broke. right now. I I'm see your broke. face right now, you're going to go for a joke. Even, <laughs> right? if, even if you say I'm broke, you don't complain about being broke, though. You're not like, oh, ah, I'm broke, I can't do X, Y, and Z. I just be like, yo, Chris, let's go do something, I'm broke. That's you just saying, yo, don't fucking talk to me or not, don't call me, I don't want to do nothing with you, <laughs> right? That's that's like in, in, in your way of like saying, yo, no, like, you get me? So, but like, yo, when I hear like the I'm broke, I'm broke, it's like, why? Like, I hear the whys, and it's like, yo, what are you paying, right? Or what has your family put, the, like, their position? Because, you know, some people have to help their families. Yeah. I understand, like, there's a million of people who, like, yo, I give money to my dad, I give money to my uncle, I give money to my grandma, I take care of my family back in my mm-hmm. country, all of that stuff. I understand. But you got to look at, like, yo, what is your money going to, right? Like, what dumb shit? Because there has to be dumb shit. Like, I refuse to believe there's, no, first of all, I'm going to rephrase that. I know that there is people, right, that are living off of pure necessity. Like, everything that they buy is pure mm-hmm. necessity and they still cannot make ends meet. I understand that. That group of people, you do not have nothing to do with this conversation and the next set of words I'm about to say, <laughs> okay? 
What I'm about to say is the people <laughs> who are constantly complaining, like you know, there's people that um that like throw out their their uh, cash apps, like like for example, like uh, I think Chicklet does that. Chicklet's like, oh well, you know, comment down below and I'll give you hundred bucks, and like a good trillion people. Uh, just put like their cash their app. cash app code and like cash app does that shit too and just people throwing up the like they just giving out free money or whatever right I'm like and, and there's so many people like yo please like I've I've seen comments like people please pick me I need this I right, blah blah Lil Duval Lil Duval uh puts out um like screenshots of people DMing him like yo you know my rent's due and I just mm. lost my job and blah blah and he'll be like ah it's okay you'll be alright <laughs> <laughs> because yo it, 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 first of all let's get one thing out of the way. You live in the United States of America, bro. Do you know how hard it is for you to just become homeless? You get me? Like, for you to become homeless in the United States, you have, like, some type of family problems. Like, your family, like, fucked you over some shit like that. Like, you hear the Tiffany Haddish story, right? Like, her, her mom. In her car, right, right. Sleeping, yeah, but it, look at the beginnings of it. She lived in a home with her mom. Her mom got into an accident. Her mom had mental problems. Her mom, they, they took her away from her parents. She went to, like, foster care. She kept going from place to place to place. She had no no stability. You get me? Like, no, I understand that. You get me? It's... You, that doesn't happen to every the, to the majority of people in the United States. Like that's not like a big thing that happens to everybody. It happens to a lot of people. But it doesn't happen to the majority of people. You get me? People just live their lives, just psh, psh, just shooting up in the air. You get me? Fuck it. I got some money. I'm gonna go spend it here. I'm gonna spend it there. And they don't ever get to a place where they like are financially responsible. And we talked about this before. That's exactly where people cannot fix because you said it. It's like, yo, you're you're no longer worried. You're when you're rich, it's easier for you to be happy when you're rich because you're no longer worrying about the basics. The problem is that when you're poor and you're disenfranchised or whatever, you are trying so to hard get to through. get those yeah. basics, but you've never even tried to like solidify yourself in like some type of financial like goal or like you get me mm-hmm. like you just. Paycheck after paycheck, you get me? Bill after bill. Like, you don't ever, like, sit down and try to, like, you know, get shit done. You get me? Like, get shit, like, mm-hmm. done the right way that you cannot focus on being better mentally. Because that's, that's exactly what happens, you get me? You you don't get your mental shit right, and then you throw that shit onto somebody else, your kids or whatever, mm-hmm. then they, they go through the same fucking thing. So it's like a non-cycle. Oh, yeah, it's a vicious cycle. It's like what you're just saying. Old money versus new money. The families that have been rich forever, you know what they do? They teach their kids. And they hey, protect this, themselves to make sure that they will rich forever. Exactly. It's like, yo, they teach their kids, yo, you know, this is what you should do. And you, know, and you don't have to tell kids. You know, kids don't really listen that much. Like, we don't really listen that much. We just watch, like, yo, what, what our parents do or what mom does or whatever. Then that's how we start to make our own decisions or whatever. That's basically what happens. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I, at the end, I, it just, to me, I'm unfathomed. Like, it's crazy to me, like, the kind of shit that we do and we don't stop to think. You get me? Because I say all of this to, like, bring it back to just saying a lot of the shit that we think that we want and we think that we need, we don't need and we don't really want. It's like a lot of programming has been put into us yeah, that it's we think... a lot of advertising oh, that goes into need. it. Yes. It's like, it's, like, it's like society in the sense or the markets or whatever makes you believe that, yo, if you don't have the white picket fence, you're never going to accomplish the American dream, right, of being happy. You're never going to have, like the like, the nice dog and the kids running around and you're throwing like water on them you know shit, whatever you know like the whole hose you know all that shit that you see it's like yo stop to think for yourself what is that you want what's gonna make you happy you get me maybe to some people living in a in a one in a studio apartment in the hood well that's the whole idea of the minimalist movement right in that, sense. Is, that is people are saying yo uh consumerism has taken control yeah we're trying to take it back yeah. By now, instead of letting the things we own own us, we own the things again. Right. Because that's the whole idea. The whole idea is, you know, we're living in a world where I own the house, but the house owns me. Yeah. The salary owns me. Yeah. Because if I don't have a salary, if I don't have a house, if I don't have this, if I don't have that, I'm not satisfied. I'm not happy. Right. So the minimalist movement technically is saying, you know, well, I don't need those things. Mm-hmm. They're great if I have them, but they're great if I don't have them either. Right. And I think that that is, is I meant. Being content is so necessary. Like, I'll be happy if you give me a million dollars. But if you don't give it to me, cool. Mm-hmm. You know, like, I didn't have it in the first place. Yeah. That has to be the mindset because if not, we're gonna we're always going to be aspiring for happiness instead of experiencing it. Right. Because we're always going to be like, I'm going to be happy. No, no. I can be happy now. Yes. And and, and we said it before. Paradigm happiness. shifts. Yeah, it's paradigm shifts. It's thinking, you know, it's not the external stuff. It's the internal things. It's, as your soul flourishes, so does the rest of your life. You yes, know, from the inside out. Like, yes. that's it, man. Like, you know, and I, I think you, you, you said it best there. 
um, I, I guess, you know, we say this now, and I, I, I'm only just imagining how, like, like, when, 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 cause I be thinking about shit like this, like, yo, when we put this clip, right, when I pinch this clip out and I put it out, right, I'm sure that there's wondering eyes, so, okay, like, you know, let me see what these guys are talking about, okay, cool, and just like we talk about social media, it's like, yo, we're so used to doing this shit right here, yo, we're dumb, I mean? we're dumb, oh, man, we're so used to doing this shit right here, that it's just like, yo, damn, that shit was real, bro, that shit was real, and you move on. It's like the episode of Black Mirror something about where uh, the guy, he uh, takes some dude hostage from some social media shit just to talk to the CEO. It's this big deal for this time and it's going off on Twitter and it's popping, it's popping, it's popping. The guy, he ends up getting shot. The video comes out and what ends up happening is people look on their phone. Damn. Hmm. And went back about what the fuck they yeah, were doing. No it didn't no even matter. No yes, it didn't even matter. So, I mean, look, like I said, man, this podcast is for that one, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the two, maybe the hundred that will listen and be like, yo, you, you, you know, and I'm going to tell you something else. It's not always about taking action immediately. Sometimes what needs to happen is that somebody plants a seed and then you hear from somebody yeah, else and you hear from somebody else. And, and then little, experiences exactly. and then life happens. Exactly. And then you're like, dang. And you remember. Yeah. You know what I remember still to this day? My 12th grade teacher telling us about, I think it was history or some shit like that, talking to us about investing, stock market, how much money you should try to make, all of this shit. And I apply that shit to my life now, but at the time, I was like, bro, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't care what the fuck you're talking about. And I realized now, I'm like, yo, the shit that you were saying, my guy, fuck, fire. Facts. Spitting fire all day. It's you know just, what I'm saying? You didn't have the, the level to understand it. Insane, bro. Insane. You got anything else you want to talk about, man? Nah, man. I think we, we killed a nice little... You killed a couple... Of, you you feel inspired today, huh? A little bit, you know. A little bit. Some every heart. Now, every some now heart. and then, you know. You hangry? Are you hungry? Uh, nah, man. I eat pretty good already, actually. Oh, I don't yeah? think I'm going to eat uh, again. Uh, yeah. oh, I'm probably like at 1,300 calories already. Oh, look you know, at I'm you. cutting. I'm trying to cut, man. You know, I'm skinning up. I'm trying to get like rip-rip out here. Yeah, because like, if you're like 5'4", but you're shredded, it looks it like offsets. It looks... Exactly. It looks it offsets, a little bit better. Yeah. It makes me look taller. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially like when you're yeah. like from like a down angle. Because it's like you got the V going, so it's like a high, yeah. the before yeah. Exactly. You know yeah. you, you know where you're going. Uh, yeah, I know where you're going. Exactly. So, so girls, 5'4", hit a... No, actually, you got to be like 4'9", because you know... Well, nah, 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 actually, you know what? It, I like that you said that. Let me tell you something right now. I want a girl that's taller than me. No, you don't. Sure, no, sure I do. No, yeah, let me tell you something. No, you have you seen Kevin Hart's girl? Yeah. You see how much she's taller way than taller than him. Way taller than him. And she's slim. Yeah, way taller than him. Yo, I don't mind a tall girlfriend. I don't mind. Have you seen Jason Statham's girl? No. Okay, Jason Statham had dating a model. She's taller than him. She puts on heels, and Jason Statham is a stack guy. But he's short. Uh, no. Well, he might be short. Sure. I don't know. Maybe five eight or something. Like that. I don't sure. know. But he'll whoop your ass. Bet. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Sure, I know a lot of little dudes that will be. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's an argument. Yo, I wouldn't mind a talk girl though. Real talk. Like I, I wouldn't. I would not mind. You know, I think we live in this world where it's like, yo, like the girl has to. You have, it's like it's like an ego thing that we we're talking about last time. It's like, yo, you have to. Uh, it's like you have to like assume your dominance, and most girls want to be dominated in in that sense. I think it's always like that, you know. But yo, look, bro, if you're tall, you trying to get at me. Shoot your shot, man. You know what I'm saying? Shoot your shot. I'm out here. Pull up. <laughs> JX Pull up. Instagram, whatever. <laughs> the Instagram is J X R G E G V T I. That's J X whatever D D. Well, I, I said it, you know. So you can slide in DMs if you're. You know what? I'm. I I I think uh, coming into 2020, I need to start. You know. Going, but I'm looking for somebody that's like two, two hundred, about two hundred, <laughs> <laughs> about two, two hundred by there'll be pretty good for me. You can bench that, huh? You bench two hundred? Yeah, I could bench two hundred. Yeah, yeah, I could bench two hundred. Oh, okay. You see me? I could, yeah, I could bench two hundred for sure. Oh, only bench like two hundred is a play and thirty. Yeah, I'm actually, no, that's actually that's actually one ninety five. So a play in thirty five is two oh five. So, I mean, you know, you can't we can't really. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do both. Yeah. Good. I can do both. You know, two oh five, two oh five. You there? You there? Two oh five, about two hundred, two oh five. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, you Why definitely not? squad that. So you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We could, we could get and that pop. Definitely deadlift. So you good? You good? You good. Oh, I definitely yeah, deadlift yeah, that for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I think I deadlift four oh five. Honestly, I think I can deadlift four oh five. Yeah, but I mean, you don't want four oh five. Nah, <laughs> nah, I don't want four or five. That's gonna be too much. Unless, unless you're like, unless you're four or five and you're like nine feet tall. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that the majority of the hype comes from bullshit. So you're a Goliath. You're not, you're not very Goliath. Why not? Why not? I think everybody is just doing you the same like, thing. You're going to be like, hey, Goliath, let me sling Mike David. Yeah. Well, the, you know, the only problem with dating a nine foot, I probably won't be like, you know, I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? Because I would only imagine that your anatomy requires like shit, like a truck, <laughs> <laughs> like a truck pipe or something like that. I don't know, but <laughs> I don't even think they make uh, toys for people that size. That'd be insane. First of all, no one's nine feet. <laughs> I mean, actually, you know what? Let's talk about one more thing. I, 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 I'm glad this shit just came to my mind. Do you think sex has become better for women over the years? What do you mean? Like, okay, so think about this. Back back then, right? Uh, and, and again, this, this is something I heard recently, right? Back then, um, women needed men, right? To take them out of like their homes and yeah. give them a life and all of that shit, right? Like, they needed that. So now that women are independent... It's like, we, we, it's almost like we care about their orgasm, right? Like, you have to, you have to. But they didn't before. You no, think no, men didn't like, give a no, shit before. you have to, but you know why? Because before, women didn't have sexual liberty, uh-huh. right? So before, most women who got married, and I'm talking about like culturally speaking, mm-hmm. were virgins. Right. There is no comparison. Yeah. So the dude's like, I'm going to give you a McDonald's and you won't know. You won't even know. You won't know this is fast food. So no, I'm going to give you McDonald's and I'm going to tell you that this is a five star. Yeah, like, like this is, this is a, as, you got know, you. this is as like a luxury as it gets. Like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, this yeah. Big Mac is all you're getting, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you might get some fries. That's it. Right, maybe. But now, girls have Damn. sexual liberty. You're independent. Girls right. live in their own houses. They got their own salaries. They got yeah, their own yeah. lives. You can pick and choose these dudes. We be talking about it all the time. Yep. Yo, how many girls get hella DMs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. So you can pick this dude and be like, yo, that dude look good, but he was trash. Yeah. That dude look good, but he was trash. That yeah. dude look good. And so now you have comparisons. Now dudes are like, yo, they're thinking in their head, like, I know this girl be getting every dude she wants. Yeah. So I got to step up. Sheesh. That, yeah, like there's pressure to you because you don't you don't want to be that dude like oh you know and you know she talks too. That, I about to say you know okay so let, let, but that's what I kind of wanted to get to. Do you? Because I always say this. I don't have a girlfriend, so I don't care. Like, and, and the reason I say I don't care is like in the sense of like, if you have a girlfriend, you should care, right? Like, you should care because you're gonna be with that person. But if you don't have a girlfriend, then technically you shouldn't care because even if girls talk, I feel like girls don't. I don't know if girls listen to each other that much. Like, I feel like. If a girl says, oh, he's whack, and the girl's still feeling you, I think she's she going to go like, oh, I'm going to find out for myself. Yeah, that's exactly you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shoot, I'm about to find out. Right, so I don't even think it matters like to, to that extent, right? But now, if you have a girlfriend, like then, you know, like what you do there should probably, like, your yeah, effort yeah, but, should be much but, higher. But also, I think there's also an implication, like if you're in a relationship, but there is also communication. Oh, uh, right, Where, true, Whereas, true. like, you know, are you in a white night stand? Are you really discussing what you guys are into? Nope. You're just getting a pop in and moving on. Yeah, pretty much. But if you're in a committed relationship, I would hope you, um, you, you're you able to say, hey, I like this, I don't like that, X, Y, Z, B, D, W, X, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Y, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, get that whole thing going till you get to the point that, you know, you guys are, because in a relationship is different. I'm here to serve you, you're here to serve me. Yeah. And yeah. I, and I, and I just, I, like, you know, just getting a pop in kind of stance, I'm just here to serve me. Yeah. Once I'm served, true. Then it's deuces. It's peace so out. So that's I think is a difference. True. That what do you think about the guys that care no matter what? Like there's guys that care. Like there's guys that I, care more about the girl than they yeah. do about themselves. But I think this is more like an ego thing. Like you think so? the guys oh, like okay. trying to say like, yo, I like, always I get it. it done. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, always yeah. get it done. I get you. Whereas yeah. most that way, most dudes I ain't that. Most dudes are the dudes that are like, nah, I got mine. <laughs> right, right. But, well, which, which it will be um, the thought process yeah. behind going into a hookup, right? Like yeah. you just want to go yeah. ahead and get chores. And that's why you know, like sometimes you'll do a seven, but sometimes the night's slow, so you do a three. Yeah, because I just Whoa. get mine. <laughs> God damn. Well, you know what? If you had a couple in you, yeah, you gonna do some threes, some twos. <laughs> you know, what? a three because a three, like you know, like just be drinking. A three is like a five. A I'm six. not. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I'm gonna tell you this that I feel. I feel really strongly about this. I I think that we don't give enough credit to the ones. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. So you know we talk about dimes all the time, right? And dimes are rare. Yes, like yeah, tens. Yeah, yo, yeah, you don't yeah, see tens yeah, all the time, but you don't see ones all the time either. <laughs> <laughs> They're just as rare as tens. It's like a unicorn. <laughs> yes. So, so like once yes. you see it, you gotta write it. Exactly. Exactly. It's like are you, you know, trying to tell me, bro? No, no, I, no. I'm still, I've still been celibate right, for bro, a year. Yeah, I'm still getting, I'm still getting my days right, so I can start bringing my days. I've been celibate for. <laughs> 365 days since August 3rd, right? And now to here, how many days is that? 
From August 3rd to October, what's the date? October uh, what? 12th, so right, what's, what's the date there? Uh, there's 30, like 30, 40 something. Four, no, 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 like over 60, 60 something. 60. 70 something, because we're already at 12, so we've been nine, 69, 60, yeah, 70. 70? About 70 days. Okay, so 70 plus 360. That's 365, you mean? 365, right. Uh, was that uh, 430? No, yeah, four some, yeah, four something. 35. Okay, so I've been celebrating 435 days so far. <laughs> I haven't lost my mind yet, so it look, it's looking pretty good. But what I'm trying to get at is that, yo, I think we need to start showing these ones a little bit more respect because, because you yo, are number be, one. I'm gonna tell you why, though, yo, you don't see one. Yo, what's the last? Can you really rate a girl that you've seen a one? I don't like think, a I, one? I don't, I don't think there's a one. I don't think that exists. Nah, that exists. Really? <laughs> that exists. Oh yes, that exists. Oh yes. Nah, man. Yes. Nah. Yes. Like I, I think exists. like you could squint enough nah. that you can bump her to a two. Nah. 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 You can squint enough and she, you won't even see her. That's how big she is anymore. <laughs> And you squint and you think your eyes are closed already. <laughs> Yo, there's a, there's a one out there. Ah, believe me. There's a one out there. <laughs> like, to me, a one would be like a s- immensely obese, pimples, acne. Like, uh, so you're combining all of uh, these. Uh, you all know, these. like uh, hygiene isn't there. Right. You know, so, so it's like, like, a, like, like a whole up. experiment. A science yeah, experiment going yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like oh, shit. Like a one is like, ugh. Have you ever seen a uh, Good Luck Chuck with yeah. Jessica Alba? Yeah, yeah. Remember the big girl? I don't know if you remember the big girl that he's trying to like smash so that he knows if he's really cursed or not. Like the next girl that the next guy that she meets gets married because that, that's the whole point of the movie. Like every girl yeah. that he smashes, the, 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 the next, next guy, guy they meet is the so one. So then the girls start finding out the one of them is getting right. Him. So he ends up going to like the pool. His friend shows him some girl that's like, hey, I'm talking, bro. Hideous. I'm talking. Remember in Jersey Show when they used to say grenades? Yeah. This thing was an atomic bomb. What about Reba Wilson? She a one? Reba Wilson. Who's that? The British big girl? No, no, no. Rebel Wilson? No, that's definitely not a one. I smashed Rebel Wilson. <laughs> oh, you want to smash Rebel Wilson? <laughs> no way, bro. Tell me, tell me. Rebel Wilson's not a one, bro. Rebel Wilson's Ooh. a pretty girl. That's a pretty big girl. She's just big. That's nah, it. I'm not nah, that's, that's, that's a, I, I'll I give, my pretty. I will give it to a Rebel. So, what do you give Rebel? A one? You think Rebel's a one? No, I'm asking what your one Ooh, would be. I'm no, just my ask. one would be that girl from the, from the Good Luck Church. Yo, let me show you right now. Let me pull this up right now. Yo, Rebel Wilson. Or oh, that girl from, what's that uh, area? Um, the Murphy movie? Oh, Raspisha? Raspisha? That's not a one, though. That no? might be like a two. Because Raspisha, Raspisha, like, she nasty. Oh, no, it's Good Luck. No, it's not. It's Good Luck Chuck, yeah. Uh, let me see. Fat girl. I'm going to put Fat Girl. We're not generalizing, but you know. Uh, Raspi- but Raspish is Eddie Murphy, though. Yeah. That's kind of trans. I'm not, you know, that's not in my... Uh, <laughs> that's not in your pocketbook yeah, yeah, yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not in my, my thing. Let me see. Okay, look. Oh, they are going to have, like, flicks and stuff. This is how the girl looks. That's, that's me. That's a one. <laughs> that looks like... That's not Honey Boo Boo or whatever her name is? I have no idea. It looks like her a little it bit. looks like her, right? That's a one to me. That's the rough. That's a one. That's the rough. Yo, if you see a one like that, this, you got a, to hit that's this. That's not a one, bro. Nah, you have to hit this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hit this, bro. Because you know, you know what it makes a I think what makes a one is like you have no features that like, like not even can a nice smile. You. You can't yeah, save not you. even a nice smile. Like, Rebel, like if you look at Rebel Wilson, Rebel Wilson's funny. She's charismatic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she has, she charm. has, a, she has she a pretty charm. smile. She definitely has yeah, a Yeah, like nice charm. she she can't be a she can't be a one. Like Rebel Wilson, is, I think Rebel Wilson is above average in, in my opinion. Like, because. There's a lot of big girls that are like yo. If they were to just lose that weight, they'll be very pretty oh, yeah, girls. Yeah. They'll be above yeah, average. They girls. have very pretty faces yeah, yeah. or whatever. I, I think Robos is one of those girls. I mean, Rebel. I, 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 and the reason I say I would smash Robos is not like that would be like my first choice, but like if Rose Rebel wasn't wanted to give me a chance and she got some money, why not? <laughs> sure, I'm she's out there. She she's popping. I'm, I'm not a gold digger. I'm just saying. Digger. That's you know, it has to be like this thing, you know. But at the end of it all. I'm just saying. So ones oh, are unicorns, and we gotta get them. Ones and tens are unicorns. You don't see a ten like that. Can you First even name all, a ten? Let me. Can you name a ten right now? Nah. That's hard, man. Nah, nah, Think nah. about Mar- Margaret Robbie. Margaret Margaret it's Robbie. It's not a ten, but that, that's a nine. That's a really pretty that's a girl. hard nine. That's a, really that's a solid. Yo, you know what? That might be like a solid nine point five if you think about it. Mar- you you probably saying that because of the features that she has, like you're like a boob guy or whatever. No, no, I, I think she has a big forehead, bro. Really? Yeah. Yo, Margaret Robbie. Yo, she's really pretty. Ever though. since she's the really movie uh, Wolf of Wall Street, Jesus yeah. Christ, she's like, a beautiful girl, but she she. Sh- I don't think there's a ten, bro. I don't think there's a ten. No, I don't think she's a ten either. I don't think there is a ten. I don't think there is a ten. That's my point. Like, yo, a ten is too perfect. Like like that Emily Rogers. Wallace model dude girl yeah, 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 yo super slim but yeah, yeah. It has a body yes yes beautiful smile I think, and she's a nine I think I think a 10 is a transgender 
I think a 10 will be a transgender woman. Because she looks manly and... No, 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 no. <laughs> Because realistically speaking, the reason we will never give a girl a 10... Is the attitude? Exactly. So she was a dude, exactly. like inside, exactly. but a girl. Exactly. So if you just see a guy turn into a girl and she's beautiful, whatever... But she likes but the Patriots, knows exactly. all the players. She knows all the Patriots fans. She loves drinking beer with you and drinking pizza and Yo, eating pizza. Yo, you're stuck. You're stuck. <laughs> Yo, you give mean? You give her a baby. Exactly. That That's a 10. So it's a setup. That's a, so it's a setup. That's not a set, That's a 10. But you say you got to get with it. What do you mean? You say you got to get with a 10. No, no, no. Yes, but I'm trying to tell you, you also got to get with the ones, though. If you get with a 10, you got to get with a one. No, 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 I wouldn't get with a one, so I wouldn't get with a 10. Bro. That's all I'm saying. People want dimes. The people that want dimes, if you want a dime, you got to take the L's. You also got to no, take the L's. You, you gotta but take that's the not L's. taking the L. That's, take, that's the unicorn, though. That's hard to find. <laughs> That's not easy. Yo, you can find nines. You go to Europe, yeah, go uh, go Africa. I'm here, sure you'll find beautiful. Here, nines. Exactly. Here. There's a bunch of nines everywhere, right? There's a bunch of twos everywhere. But yeah. ones and tens? Come on, bro. I th- I'm telling you, what makes a woman a ten is a transgender. That's the only way. That's this the has only been, way. I'm down. Thank you for watching, <laughs> listening, subscribe, listen, listen. like, comment. This is I'm down, guys. Thank you for listening and being part of this show. We love you. Peace. That's it. Ain't no discussing this anymore. <laughs> oh man, that was good. That was good.